hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video as you can see we're shopping around Wilco's today I've not been in Wilco's for a good few months so I wanted to have a good nosy round so I started off in the kitchenware you see they've got lots of really cute mugs I really like this Adia one it's kind of Christmassy but maybe a little bit autumn I could get away with as well they had some really nice plate and bowl sets. I'm a particular fan of this green colour. They also had lots of cute dinner trays. And you know I love a bit of story. So they did have the bamboo but they also had some really cute coffee and sugar pots. Now I am a bit partial to a wicker basket so you may see them appearing a few times in this video. I really like this mug, I thought that would be a really nice gift for somebody if you know they're a little bit stressed out, maybe they're like super busy with work. Mug like that, some nice kind of like cute hot chocolate in it, some chocolate on the side would be really nice. More baskets because I love baskets, more mugs. It is that time of year though isn't it? starting to get a little bit cooler a little bit cozier but they did have lots of summery stuff still in and i am clinging onto the last bit of summer because that is my favorite time of year well spring slash summer i know so many people love autumn but i do love the warmer weather they also had these cute candles in which were only two pounds 75 and really look really lovely like gifts perfect to go with that mug they also had the like Joe Malone style ones. I feel like everywhere is doing those now. And wouldn't those lanterns look really nice outside if you've got a lovely decking area? Love the colour of this throw. I'm loving these little terracotta pots as well. Green with terracotta just looks amazing. Moving on into some more home decor, I absolutely love these, how great would they look on a desk in a kind of like old fashioned style study. This vase is really cute, a little bit of pink and you know I'm partial to pink. And then I know these mirrors have been around for a while but I do really like them and I noticed they also had some more stylish, I mean, more modern I suppose, the ones on the left. Lots of storage as there always is in these sorts of places. Lots of different types of baskets that will go with any decor. Lots of loads of cute little greenery parts, little flower parts. And this was actually in the bathroom accessory section, but I thought those wooden shelves would come in handy in so many different places. Whether it's in your hallway, you throw your keys on it, and just all those little bits and bobs that you get. Or whether you want to put them in your bathroom, or in your bedroom, if you've not got loads of space. Also, I spotted they had some sage green bathroom stuff. And doesn't it look lovely against bamboo? Moving on to some of their outdoor stuff, so they had this plant stand. I have got one of those in my garden, it was from B&M last year. And I really like how you can decorate it up with different things. They still had lots of their garden wear in. I would say some of it was on sale, but I don't feel like as much as say places like B&M. Um, I feel like in the pandemic, there was kind of like a shortage of garden stuff. and. I just feel like this year the stores haven't managed to shift their stock like maybe they thought they was going to. Um, but they did have some lovely picnic stuff. I love all that strawberry printed. How cute is that? And all these bare little bits and bobs. To be fair, they're perfect for any time of year. If you've got kids, even in the house, plates like that, you need them plastic. You don't want them breaking. So they are perfect. 
They also had trellises still in. You can see they've also got an orange tone, which is a little bit more autumnal. And they had so many gorgeous um, ceramic plant pots. I love these and I think they look amazing in gardens um, I imagine they're treated so that they can stand the weather please do let me know because I'm always a little bit cautious about buying proper pottery for outside but yeah they look amazing and I loved so much of this stuff I feel like they really went to town on their summer wear in fact I really wish I would have come in earlier because I had so many seeds growing I've had I've bought so many plants that I could have done with knowing about these a bit sooner but yeah I'm definitely going to be heading to Wilco's next summer They also have lovely hanging baskets as well. I feel like sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find nice ones, but I like the wicker style effect that they was going for. And then I feel like you cannot go to Wilco's without having a look at their stationery. And with it being um, back to school, they had their new stationery out. And yeah, I just love Wilco stationery. I feel like it's one of the best places to go for the price. They always have so many protein notepads in. I could have bought all of these. I really like this sage green one with the flowers on. I think that would be perfect if you've got a garden or if you like gardening like me to just kind of like plan what flowers you want where you want them throughout the year and just have like a nice place to keep everything maybe even like um, paper clip your seed bags to it because mine are always going missing because I don't have one place for them at the moment I think my favorite is those floral designs they're just so cute um, and then they had lots of pencil cases for all ages you can see unicorns to be fair there's pencil cases that I would have they do have just the plain functional ones as well and they've always got so many bits and bobs they also had these kind of dark ones in and some more kind of 60s 70s style notepads that kind of like fun and bright colors I like the don't delay do it today but that was it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.